Chen. I'm a junior at Central High School, and the first monologue I will be performing is called My Real Father. The author is unknown. Mom, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm ready to meet this man that I've never known. Gosh, what if he hates me? What if he thinks I'm ugly? I, I just know if he's not going to like me. Oh no, what if I don't like him? What if he comes through that door, right? And our eyes meet and the feeling's not there. Yeah, he's my father, but not like Frank is. Frank is dad. This guy, I mean, Ben, is just a father, right? I mean, he and my biological mother decided they couldn't hang with having a kid at such a young age, so they gave me up, and I'm cool with that, I think. It's just that I really don't know what to expect from him. I mean, the letters he sent were cool and all, but they're just words on paper. I don't know why I bothered looking for him. I'm 18 now. I should be focusing on college and not sweating the old stuff. I mean, my biological mother couldn't deal with it when I found her. She's got her own life now, with her own kids, the ones she actually wanted. I'm just a bad memory she's trying to erase. What do you mean I don't understand? Mom, she doesn't want to know me, and she sure doesn't want her husband and kids to know that she had a bastard child when she was 16. So what if my father feels the same way? Rejects me like she did. I should have never contacted him. I'm setting myself up big time. He's here? Okay. I'm ready to meet him. And the second monologue I will be performing is Juniper's monologue from Tomorrow's Wish. I kissed a boy once. At least I tried. I don't know if it counts if they don't kiss back, but I tried to kiss a boy, and it almost worked. Most of the time, Grandma and I don't get to see folks much, but we go into town sometimes, and Grandma says I just have to be careful and mind my manners. And Grandma says I'm real good at being careful, but sometimes I get so bored in that little town. Only one video store, only two churches, and the park only has two swings and a pool that never even gets filled up anymore. But in our town, there's a boy, and his name is Samuel. He's the bag boy at the grocery store, and he always does it just right and never squishes the eggs. And he has red hair and green eyes and <laughs> freckles all over his face. <sighs> and he's so nice. Samuel is so nice to me and Graham. He would always smile and say, thank you. And you're welcome. And if he says, have a nice day. You do. That's how good he is at his job. I've always wanted, I've always wanted to be close to Samuel and to talk to him without Graham there. And one day, Graham got really sick and I got to go to the store all by myself. I bought some oyster crackers and cough medicine and I got to watch Samuel. I watched him do his bag boy job. I just stared and stared. And then when he asked me if there was anything else I wanted, I whispered, yes. Then I grabbed him by the ears and that was my first kiss and my last. It was the most romantic night of my life until the guards pulled me off him.